हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आदाब सत श्रीकाल हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डॉक्टर परमजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर एजुकेशन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एज यू नो आई मेक वीडियोस अबाउट हेल्थ एंड हेल्थ के टॉपिक्स एंड ऑल माय वीडियोस आर डायरेक्टली रेफरेंस फ्रॉम यूएस नेशनल मेडिकल लाइब्रेरी एंड दिस इज साइंस ऑफ सप्लीमेंट्स वी हैव बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट अमीनो एसिड्स एंड प्रोटीन्स और इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट आर अमीनो एसिड टाइप्स ऑफ अमीनो एसिड एसेंशियल नॉन एसेंशियल कंडीशनली एसेंशियल व्हेन दे आर नीडेड हाउ मच quantity is needed what are the recommended dietary in- intake on a daily basis required and especially i told you how proteins are stored in your body right it's an amino acid pool inside each and every cell and there are plasma protein which are basically made by the absorbed amino acid from your intestine going inside the liver they make plasma protein and plasma protein is basically circulated in the blood and in the form of albumin globulin ferritin and transferrin so uh, today we are going to talk about what happens if you actually have deficiency of proteins and how that affects your body what are the signs which you will get and especially there is a concern about complete and an incomplete proteins in various people's mind so what exactly is incomplete protein and how can you complete your protein so let's jump into it let's start right so as we have seen that uh, amino there are nine essential amino acids so if we talk about incomplete proteins mostly plant protein are said to be incomplete but do you know that even incomplete protein every single plant protein has all the nine essential amino acids present yes for example if you take rice right rice has all the nine essential amino acids in it here's we here's the here's a chart so if you actually the problem is if you actually consume only rice throughout the day right continuously for a long period of time if you depend on rice right for your proteins then if if a 70 kg person takes like 612 grams of rice in a day and which contains like 46.2 grams of proteins right in that the essential amino acids list is here and that will show you that lysine is deficient by 12% because lysine uh, requirement is 2100 grams and it will give you only 1854 and that will lead to 88% right it's not completing the 100% requirement of lysine that's why rice is incomplete right now it doesn't mean that rice does not supply lysine it will also supply lysine in a good 88% quantity so if you take something else which has lysine in more amount you'll basically complete your requirement of lysine for example if you take chickpeas in chickpeas if somebody takes chickpeas a 70 kg person takes 522 grams of chickpeas on a daily basis and depends upon chickpeas for the protein requirement then there will be enough lysine right there is 3095 right lysine grams and but they will miss out on methionine methionine is less 700 is the requirement and they'll get only 606 and therefore 87% of methionine requirement will be fulfilled only which was more in rice so that's why if you mix chickpeas and rice in your diet then you actually end up having more or have covering up the required amount of essential amino acids that's why you complete your proteins by using uh, lentils and grains right that's why we indians eat dal rice dal roti dal chapati that's why we mix our grains right so to actually complete lysine methionine right is a chart for the example right so that's how complete incom- incomplete proteins are not so incomplete actually but there are certain complete proteins which actually have all the essential amino acid in good amount thereby if you take only those complete proteins for your protein requirement you will end up having enough amount of all the amino acids right those complete proteins are obviously animal proteins all the animal proteins meat chicken fish poultry egg milk uh, milk based things like yogurt cheese everything has complete protein then soya is soy is complete quinoa is complete uh, whey proteins are complete seaweed and 
amaranthus is complete buckwheat is complete hemp seed spirulina then uh, salvia hespinica all these things are complete proteins and the thing which actually comes close to complete is spinach green leafy vegetable spinach right it has a little bit of methionine less which you can actually cover up by eating a bread with it <laughs> that's the idea so complete and incomplete protein is actually not to be worried about all you need to eat is a little bit of grains little bit of lentils together so that's up and if you actually still end up having the whole required amount of protein in a less amount like we have seen the required amount is approximately less than 1 gram per kg body weight and if you take even less right protein then you end up having less amount of whole uh, the total amount of protein less in the body which will actually depict by low levels of plasma proteins because actually the proteins are not stored in your body only plasma proteins and intracellular amino acid pools you cannot count each and every cells intracellular amino acid pool only thing which you can measure are the plasma proteins you can measure the albumin globulin levels which are the routine part of your liver function test so the idea is to check them if you are deficient in your proteins it will affect every single function in your body including your brain your kidneys your liver your absorption gastrointestinal system yeah right? there will be your gut mucosa will be infected uh, affected and your absorption will suffer then your skin your hairs everything will suffer your immune system will suffer you'll end up having more infections you'll end up having systemic disease chronic diseases eventually and you'll show up the uh, signs like edema you will have swelling all over your body right you will have if there is a child if there is a very small child they that that child will have failure to thrive which means they won't be able to survive if they don't get enough proteins then as you grow if you don't have proteins you'll have less muscles less musculature you'll have dull skin you'll have thin brittle hairs you'll break off your hairs very easily so you'll have hair loss then you'll be nervous you'll be dizzy you'll be exhausted very weak right very tired all the time so a lot of signs will be there ultimately you have might have less proteins right so evaluate your diet if you are taking good amount of proteins search for proteins take uh, a look at my diet plan which i have given to reduce weight if you are actually looking to a dieting because dieting is number one reason why you might end up having low protein right so take care of your protein requirement and this is all about complete incomplete proteins and protein deficiencies and how we actually tackle them right how we diagnose them by the signs and symptoms next time we are going to talk about the most important thing do you actually need branched chain amino acids right <clears throat> no matter if you are talking about bodybuilding recovery or anything so what is the basics what is the need we'll be talking about this next time so stay tuned with this series science of supplements is very important if you are interested in fitness and bodybuilding and uh, don't go uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon don't forget to share this video and all my videos of course hit the bell icon and do catch me live on a daily basis on youtube and if you want to stay healthy you need to stay connected the internet is full of bro science fake knowledge half information or propaganda your quest of reliable authentic health information ends here so subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again